Hi, welcome back. Today we'll focus this class on sleep. Have you ever wondered how you can practice to enhance your sleep? Well, I'll cover those types of poses today. Something to relax your nervous system, help you tune into the breath. Science shows us that sleep is our number one contributor toward health span. And we're not sleeping well, or our sleep is disturbed, it leads to chronic disease and illness. So join me today, and we'll go through a group of asana that will help us sleep better and feel better and live longer. Before we get started, if you enjoy this video and find it helpful, please give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe and don't forget to click the bell so that you are notified when the new videos are uploaded. Now let's get started. Right, so just a few minutes to talk a little bit about sleep. Uh, sleep is really important. It's probably our number one medicine, number one tool in our toolkit. When we sleep, all sorts of things happen that we're not aware of, unless we wake up and we're dreaming and we, we're aware of that. But, so sleep is important, and it uh, seems that due to what's happening in the world and more anxiety or staying up too late or being active and the nervous system being active, it's difficult for some to stay, to go to sleep and then to stay asleep. So this practice is oriented toward just calming down the nervous system, relaxing, um, being in a state of mind that is more soft, more space, more or less, less kind of agitation, less kind of mechanical devices, um, just a little bit of forward bending, a little bit of inversion, and having the head supported. So there are many different things that you can do, but what I would say is, first of all, before you sleep, give like three hours before you're going to go to sleep with your last meal. So that way you're not digesting during the night and that will help a lot with maybe not waking up. Also, if you have to get up in the middle of the night to use the, the restroom, um, maybe it's because you've been drinking a lot during the night, evening hours, and so just start to observe that and notice and cut back on your um, liquid intake, okay? Um, so we'll first start with, you'll get a couple blocks, uh, a chair, and um, you have a couple blocks, a chair, and if you have two chairs, maybe, I'll show you one pose with two chairs. If you have two chairs, then I'm sure you do. Everyone has dining room chairs, but um, if they're convenient or if you have a space that you have set up for yoga, then maybe you have two chairs, okay? It's not a requirement, and I'll show you a couple different ways. Let's get started. All right, so first you're going to have a chair to just have in front of you. And you, you can have a blanket if you want, not necessary, but if you just want to have a little bit more comfort, you can bring your blanket onto the chair and have your feet hips distance apart and come a little bit away from the chair. You can rest your elbows and your upper arms onto the chair and just rest your head. Okay, so now the idea is that you want to not be rounding the back. So take your feet back far enough that you feel comfortable on that chair. You can rest your head, you can rest your arms, and you have some length happening, okay? If this is too low, then you can get you can get something else. A bolster puts that on your your head on the bolster, but just find a position that is comfortable so that you can release the lower back, release the side trunk, release the head, relax the brain. And then as you rest there, just tune into your breath. Whenever we start to watch our breath, 
we begin to lengthen the inhalation and the exhalation, which is a letting go process. If you think about when you're excited about something, the breath is much faster. So tuning into the breath, let the breath be relaxed. You can change the cross on your arms. And you can stay in these positions as long as you want. You can take pick one or two positions. Or you can do everything that I'm going to show you. It just depends on how much time you have and how much time you need to unwind. And that depends also on on your mind and how much you're going to allow yourself to just be just observing your breath, quieting the mind. And now I'm going to take my fingers on my toes. If you don't have, if you're not able to take your toes, just take a strap. And here, I'm just going to draw in. So I want to get that movement in the kidney area, in the middle of the back, broadening the back, but also bringing some awareness into that area. Feeling the breath through the abdomen, feeling the breath in the lower back as it widens. Let your head completely re relax down onto that chair. And just notice we're right between the eyebrows, the direction of the skin. So you don't want the skin to be lifting up toward the forehead, but skin needs to be descending down toward the nose. So it's less active. All right, and then you're going to come up. And I'm just going to grab two blocks because I just feel like I want to go and stay in that a, bit, a little bit longer. If you do, you can come down a little bit lower and find a height that you'll be able to, be able to bring the head down so that now I have the crown of my head on the block. I'm using my fingertips on the floor. So you can adjust your height and see what height you need. Maybe even lower. So once you find that height, just be there. And let the head release down. With your fingertips on the floor, you're moving your shoulders away from the back of the head. So you're not letting the arms fall down, but you're using the fingers, the hands, the arms to keep the shoulders lifted and the neck long. And then you can come up. So staying in these positions as you as long as you like. You can also take the chair for a little bit more support. You can take the chair the back of the thighs. So I'm leaning the chair and that's pressing against the top of my thigh, which is the direction for the thighs when you're coming into forward bend. And then taking my, my hands and my arms onto the front of the chair. You can rest the head. 
and take the arms down. This feels nice because there's some pressure against my abdomen and I can feel that bit of pressure helping to release the breath and and also feeling the width across the lower back. When you're holding these positions, just maintain that awareness of your your breath. All right, and then release. So now, I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna take two chairs. And I have blanket on the edge of one. And I'll bring another chair over and put a blanket on the edge of that. So here you can build up, depending on the height of your chair, you'll be able to build up the blankets or you can even have a bolster, depending on tightness in your hamstring. So I'm folding the blanket here. It's going to make it a little bit higher, but you could also have a bolster here. You're going to come into Prasarita Padatanasana. So your legs are wide and you, you're bringing your head in between the chair. And I'm going to rest my shoulders on the blankets. Okay, so I'll be able to kind of hang suspended. My neck will be long, the head will be long. So I'm just going to separate them just slightly, bring my head in. Oh, have enough for your, not too far away, so the shoulders will be able to be rested. Bring those shoulders in, or the blankets in. If the blankets are sliding, you can have a mat on your chair. And then from here, you can just release completely. It's really feeling delicious to have the head and the neck lengthen. So it's a little bit of traction. And of course, my shoulders are completely supported so that the head can extend. And then coming back to the breath. So here you can really feel the abdominal area as you breathe. So let your be in the rhythm of that breath. And if you just have two dining room chairs, you can have those which will also do the trick. Let the back of the head lengthen. Completely let the shoulders and the arms release down. Okay, I could stay there forever. You might want to as well. So you just remember that you can do that one anytime. So when you come up, just make sure that you stay with your breath in case you're so relaxed you don't realize where you are. Okay, so next, you can keep one chair and come down and you can sit in Sukhasana. So here we're getting some opening through the, through the groin. And you just bring your arms onto the chair. Again, having that length. So you're leaning toward the chair. You 
And then again, observe the breath through the abdomen. And come up and change the cross on your feet, your legs. Let your arms be heavy, your shoulders be heavy, like they were in the chair, the two chairs, and especially the head. So making sure you have enough height for your head. If it's difficult for you to fold forward this much, then have maybe a bolster on the chair or a little bit more height. Soft breath. And then inhale, come up. All right, so now you're going to take the chair, come up, and have an extra mat, and bring your extra mat onto the chair. Okay, here we're going to go into supported shoulder stand. All right, so I have the chair, I folded a sticky mat, a thin sticky mat and a bolster here. All right, I'm gonna get in from this side and I'll bring my legs over the chair. I'm a little close to the wall so that if I, when I straighten my legs, if I wanna bring the legs onto the wall, I can. Not too close to the wall, otherwise you won't be able to bring your legs up. So just watch here. If you already know, then you can go into it. You're having your calves on the back of the chair. Okay, I have my feet at the wall. Bringing my hips in so I can feel completely stable. Hands on the back of the chair. And I bring the majority of the weight into the back of the chair. Okay, so now I have my hands onto the chair, legs, and my elbows onto the bolster. So here I'm getting a lift of the chest. All right, and then I start to slide down a little bit. I'm sliding my hips down, but I keep my legs curled over the back of the chair, so I can start to slide my shoulders onto the bolster. I want the back of the head, the neck, and the shoulders. And now at this point, I'm rolling the shoulders under, so you can take your hands onto the inner legs, so you maintain that distance from the chair. Otherwise, if you slide off that bolster, you'll have to start over, okay? So this keeps you on the top of your shoulders without sliding with your head toward the floor. And then bring your feet onto the chair. You can also, if you have very, um, if you're very broad, you can take your hands on the outer bar or here on the inner bar, but just maintain that, that hold of the bar with the elbows moving down to lift up through the chest, okay? And then scoot yourself down until you feel comfortable on your lower back. It should feel very comfortable. So if you're a little bit higher, then with your knees bent, your feet on the back of the chair, you can bring yourself to the right position. Okay? And then you'll straighten your legs. I can feel the wall there. I don't really need the wall. And if you really want to be super, super comfortable, you can bring a blanket on the end of your chair on the chair rail just to have a little bit more cushion but this chair is pretty comfortable it's nice and rounded and so from here i allow the back the lower back to just rest on that chair and from there i lift the chest to send the shoulders so i can feel that those places that are weighted my hips my shoulders which allows me to have that nice lift of the chest. So now I'm in an inversion, which inversions are a great way for you to, 
to recover yourself, to relax, to bring that extra blood flow up through the, well, the glands, into the throat, and then the blood flow moving upward, away from the heart, so that the heart doesn't have to pump up. So it's a, a nice relaxation for the heart. There's a nice release of blood flow in an easier way. And it's also a really nice relaxation for the legs. If you've been standing all day or walking or just been very active, here the legs are completely relaxed and they're, as they're lifted upward, the abdominal organs and this whole central core of the body is able to have some space. So just be there and breathe. So you might have to play with getting into the chair a couple times, or if you have a platform a couple blankets, some height, you can use that as well. I know some of you have been practicing for a while and you have some equipment, so taking either the, the shoulder stand in the chair or with some blankets, whichever you feel is better for you. This is a bit more supportive, you're not working as much, you can relax and just allow this inversion to do its magic on you. And take the legs, bring your outer sides of your feet to the rail and come into Baddha Konasana. So your knees are separated. And here you're getting some space in the, the groin area and the lower pelvis. So not just the abdomen, but the that opening through the pelvic girdle. Just pay attention to your breath. The quality of your breath. and the shift in your breath. So here, when I'm in the right position, I don't even need to hold on. I can release my arms. But it's essential that you maintain that rotation of the shoulders to be able to do that. And I'm going to bring my hands back onto the chair, hold onto the chair, feet onto the chair seat, or you could have the feet on the chair rail. And now I'm going to lift my shoulders. So instead of tucking them under now, I'm going to curl them towards the center of my body. And as I do that, lift up slightly, and I start to slide down. And if I can do that slowly, walking my feet back, then I can end up with my hips onto that bolster. And then you can bring the legs onto the chair. And bring your arms just out to the side. So you can rest here for just as long as you want. So the legs are completely released. You can let the legs move to the side. You can have, depends on where you are on the chair and your height. If the bolster and the relationship to the chair seat are not uh, good for you because you've got long legs, then you can take the bolster away as well. So then you can stay in that pose as long as you want as well. And bring your hips up, your feet onto the chair, lift up, and then 
and just bring your lower back onto the floor and rest your legs on the chair. Bring your arms into any position you'd like. You can bring them above your head. If your shoulders are tight, just keep them over to the side. Let the lower back be on the floor, abdomen descending. And take a few deeper breaths here. So being aware now of your inhalation and your exhalation. You're going to roll over onto your right side and press yourself up. Okay, so now you can take your chair, move your chair, and you'll take a few blankets. And so by this time you should be relaxed. If you want to relax even further, you can just take the legs up the wall. I'm going to show you now some, a little bit of breath work, pranayama. Not very advanced, but just getting into the breath. So here is a blanket. And I'm opening the blanket. And I'm going to bring the blanket into a trifold. So I can fold the blanket in half, like so. I'm going to bring it back a little bit onto itself and have it folded a third time. So you've got here, you've got here, and you've got here. Okay? So making it nice and neat. And then I take another blanket. That may be enough for you. If you want a little bit more height, you can take a second blanket. Maybe just fold it in half. So let me just show you. This edge here is, you know, a little bit um, uh, rough. And this edge here is very nicely folded. So I'm going to take, first of all, the nicely folded edge and put it toward the side where I'm going to sit. So I'm going to sit here. And then here, this is going to be a little bit higher. And the folded nice edges toward this side as well. Okay, So I'll bring the blanket back because I want to sit and then extend my legs. So I have the blanket back far enough. And then you can have one extra blanket or a cushion or a pillow, whatever you have. So I'm folding that blanket again. Actually, not folded properly this blanket yet. Okay, so now I'm going to fold it in half, and I'll fold it in half again. So I have a nice rolled edge here. Okay, and I'm going to bring that back. So when I come down into Shavasana, I come right down here, and I have my hips close to the edge of that, but not right up to it, so that this blanket here is going to catch right at my lower ribs. And then as I come down, I'm bringing the blanket in. So here, this blanket, how high that blanket is will depend on your chest. So you want your chin moving down slightly. You do not want your head lifting up. Okay. Take your hands behind your head and lengthen. And then you'll extend your legs out. So essentially, you're coming into Shavasana, but you have a little bit of height, so your chest is lifted. Okay? It's not too much height that you can't stay in Shavasana, but it's enough height to give you some extra openness through the chest. All right? And then we're going to lie down and close our eyes. And I'll guide you through just some basic pranayama in the beginning, it's just awareness of the breath. And that is Ujjayi 1. 
So first, coming into Shavasana, just relax the body completely, making sure that you've adjusted the pelvis, tailbone is moving down, adjusted the arms and shoulders. Here you can feel the shoulders are on either side of the blanket, so that blanket is moving down the center, the spinal cord, right down the center of the body. So shoulders are easier to move down and the chest easier to stay lifted. So with that lift of the chest and that descending of the chin, we're coming into Jalandhara Bandha, which is one of the locks for Pranayama. So you can feel there that the throat is a little bit more narrowed with the height under the head. So just observe your body, relax completely. Just feeling where you're touching the mat, your heels, your calves. Be aware of the sensations that you feel in your body. Where you feel the breath. Let your head be completely weighted, so from the front of the head to the back of the head. You're not using any of the muscles of the neck or the shoulders to keep the head lifted. You might not be doing it intentionally, but it may be something that you do automatically because those little muscles in the neck have tightened. Hopefully in Prasarita Paditanasana with the chair support, you were able to release any tension in your neck and in your head. Just allowing the breath to be quiet. And now just be, become aware of the breath. Exhale completely. And then inhale. Be aware of your inhalation. Be aware of your exhalation. As you notice, your attention came away from your breath. Just nudge it back. So, coming back to the breath. So, as you observe the breath, just observe the quality of your breath. Is it soft? Is it rough? Is it zigzag? Is it short? Is it only in the chest? Can you feel it in the abdomen? Breathing more on one side than the other. Or just observing what you can sense with the breath, within the body. And after you've made a mental note of that, just come back to the breath. Allowing the breath to be quiet. Long, slow, soft, smooth inhalation. And long, slow, soft, smooth exhalation.
you can observe the timing of your breath, how long your inhalation is, how long your exhalation is. Like you to lengthen your exhalation. Just let it go as long as you can, and then a little bit further. And you'll know when it's time to breathe again. Taking a few breaths, and then again exhale and lengthen your exhalation. So you can stay with your breath. I'm going to leave you here so that you can just allow yourself to completely relax, being in tune with the breath, allowing yourself to go inward, keeping that quiet state of your body of your breath and your mind. I'll see you in the next class. Namaste. Thank you for joining this class. I'm hoping you're feeling more relaxed and you now have a couple of things that you know you can go to and do to keep the nervous system relaxed, quiet the mind, tune into your breath. If you'd like to look at more videos that will help in that respect, um, look at my video. And all of these can be done anytime, day or night. And I would advise to do them as much as you want. Enjoy your sleep.